It's a good day today here at my site. I hope everyone's doing well. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. Arc length circumference of a circle. A request from a viewer. How can we go about determining the formula for the circumference of a circle but using the arc length route? If you start right here with a part of a unit circle, you know you have zero r comma zero, zero comma r. This represents one fourth of a unit circle. You can determine the arc length of this and then multiply it by 4, you'll get your circumference. But you need to have a function first. What's our function? It comes here from x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. y is equal to r squared minus x squared and square root. You do the derivative of this, you know, you can do it, chain rule. But you'll get here, as a derivative, you get minus x divided by square root r squared minus x squared. You can do that derivative procedure and you can easily come to that result the arc length formula a to b integral 1 plus dy over dx whole square dx what's my a over here it's a zero what's b it's r and i have right here this is equal to the derivative of y which is dy over dx 1 plus dy over dx that component that entire derivative factor squared dx that's the formula coming into play 0 to r you know you can square this out you'll have 1 plus x squared divided by r squared minus x squared dx you do the common fraction algebra over here this will come here in the numerator the x squares will cancel out your end result is 0 to r you will have r squared divided by r squared minus x squared this is all under the radical you clean this out the r can come out from the root because it's a perfect square and a root you'll have an r coming out dx divided by square root r square minus x square that's the integral which will give you your formula now let's look at this times 4 we'll bring the times 4 over here because this represents a quarter of a circle or a quarter of a circle circumference the 4 will capture everything that's missing so let's complete it trigonometric substitution everything here is looking like this a square minus x square type of integrand for which you will do trigonometric substitution we know a over here is basically r x is equal to r sine theta and dx is equal to r cosine theta d theta we know theta 1 and theta 2 are easy to determine everything using here and the limits 0 and r will be 0 and pi over 2 in terms of your integral you're looking at 4 r you have a 0 pi over 2 you have a dx which is r cosine theta d theta then you have everything coming here in place of this x which is r sine theta squared r squared minus r squared sine squared theta you've seen this so many times you know when you do the trigonometric identity isolation algebra and bring in the cosine all of this will cancel out because it will equal to each other it will become a 1 essentially the only thing which comes here in terms of the antiderivative is a theta you have here a pi over 2 and a 0 put this in put this in and the difference of the two 4 r pi over 2 is a 2 pi r and that will be the circumference of a circle representing a complete circle by means of the arc length formula and i've shown this to you and this procedure and the result is good 4 r times pi over 2 is a 2 pi r thank you have a good day